When one of the torsion springs for a 280 pound overhead garage door breaks, no one half horsepower garage door opener is going to lift that door. What's needed is a counterweight. In this case, it's a pail filled with rocks and water. It's about 80 pounds. Here, as the door goes down and lifts the pail, the pail provides the counterweight that the spring provided before it broke. Now when I press the open button on the garage door opener, the pail comes down, pulling the door with it. Another solution is to replace the torsion spring. You should replace both torsion springs when one breaks. As the door is coming up, you can see the spring is unwinding. The black and yellow line was straight when the spring was relaxed. The spring did not go completely relaxed because some tension will still be needed on the cable so it doesn't come off of the pulley. Now, with the new springs in place, the pail is not needed. Now as the door is going down, the springs are winding up. This is when the most spring force is needed, the first few feet of the door coming up. This spring and the one that runs out of the left side of the picture are each wound seven and a half times. This has not been a how-to video. It has been a video to encourage you to do it yourself. My wife googled broken garage door springs and found this very useful and informative and entertaining website by Richard J. Kinch explaining every step needed to replace the torsion springs on a garage door. If you have a broken garage door spring, I encourage you to go to this website, download the instructions, and do it yourself.